All right, Bob, we're talking about meniscus, that cartilage in your knee. If you think you have a torn meniscus or it's already confirmed, uh, we're going to show you some exercises. And regardless if you're going to have surgery or not, these exercises, these the you're definitely going to want to do them. They're basic strengthening. As pain allows. Uh, exactly right. We'll All go right. into detail shortly. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, we thought we'd show you a little idea of the anatomy of meniscus. So here is the knee joint, the quadriceps are here, the tibia is here, and the joint's bending. Now, the meniscus is inside the joint. If you take- Cartilage. Yep, it's, it's a cartilage, exactly right. There's two different types of cartilage. That's one of them, and it helps stabilize the joint. I'm gonna pull the kneecap up out of the way like this, and we're gonna bend the knee, and you see this right here represents the meniscus. This blue spot here is the ACL ligament. The meniscus is here. If your meniscus is pulled away from the tibia like this, that would be a problem. Um, this black line here would represent where maybe you might have a tear. Sometimes the tear folds over, and then that can cause the knee to lock. Lock it or not be able to extend it all the way. Yep, so you don't get full extension, and that's a problem where you can't bend it. Sometimes a little piece of meniscus will actually come off, and they call it a floater. Mm -hmm. It'll float around in there, and it's okay sometimes, and then that little piece of meniscus gets caught. Hurts. It floats a bad area. Yep. It hurts. So uh, one way or another, these exercises are to keep and maintain range of motion. And, and strength. And strengthen the muscles around. Ah, we don't need that anyway. Ah. Okay, this first one is for flexion to make sure you have full range of motion. Bob's gonna demonstrate in a seated position, like this long seated, and I'll show in a chair. So he's holding his knee, he's sliding the heel up. You can do this in bed, on the floor, and you notice he's pulling right below the knee. You can change the position of your hands to up closer or down here, whatever it takes to make it flex and gain full range of motion with less pain? Probably 10 times. 10 repetitions is good. If you get sharp pain when you're doing this, don't push through it. You need to back off. Do it throughout the day. Yeah, and just work it throughout the day. Exactly right. All right. Okay, in the seated position, it's uh, simple. Assuming things are going fairly well with it, just lean back, scoot your bottom out on the edge of the chair, and pull in. Here, up here, work your way down. Again, as pain allows. Yep, and if it is sharp pain, do not do it. Just back off on it, come back later. Now, if you're doing it like we mentioned before, the heel will actually kind of not want to slide in your bed or the sofa. So if you have something slippery, we're using a knee glide, and it's one of the beauties of a knee glide. Uh, the thing about this, if you do have a torn knee, a meniscus, and you're gonna have surgery, the knee glide will come in handy anyway. after surgery right. as well. Uh, so it works out very well, compliments. And, and the straps work really well. Yeah, so yeah, th this is use a belt or whatever you have around right. to uh, assist with your arms. All right. Okay, the next exercise is a strengthening exercise for the quadriceps, one of the main muscles that support the knee. Okay, Bob's gonna show you here. Fold. Fold the pillow underneath. Squish. Underneath the knee. There we go. Squeeze down, hold for 10 seconds. Yep. What do we for anything in 10? <laughs> <laughs> Count it out slow, use, you know, you know, do them right. You wanna have good quality exercises. 10 is a good number for this, wouldn't you say, Bob? Right, I love it. Yep. So you see, and he's trying to keep the heel down. You don't let the foot come way up high. We're really trying to like okay. that. That would be a long arc quad. Right. We're trying to do quad sets in a different manner. So this is nice. And the, the pillow underneath there really provides excellent resistance. It's soft, it feels good. It's good for an injured knee. 10 reps. 10 reps. Okay, another strengthening exercise, a little different than last time because we want to make sure you get full extension of your knee. So Bob's straightening his leg out. If your knee does not go straight, you can do what Bob is doing. Take the crux of your hand above the kneecap and push down and just work on straightening it. Once you get it straight, then lift up and do a straight leg raise because it's a straight leg and you're raising it. 
That was very ingenious name. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ten of these is good as well. If the knee does not get fully straight after you stretch it a few times, don't worry about it. Do your straight leg raisers, and then later in the day when you come after it again, stretch it out again with the hand, and then do these. Very good. Wow, Bob, is there another one? No, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's working. Top three. Yep, bend, flex, and uh, extend, strengthen. You'll uh, be ready for surgery. That, that's right. Surgery, prehab is very important. Yep.